This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here, this is Fragbox TV. Let me show you what I'm working on today over here. Let's see. What is all this nonsense? Look at all this stuff. Hmm, 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 hmm. Leak detection. Leak detection, muy importante. Why? Why do we want these little things? on our saltwater aquariums. Why might you buy one? Why do you need one in your life? Why? Because water and electricity do not mix. If you have a all-in-one tank like one of these, the chances of water coming out are quite slim, but if you have a sump, sometimes this can happen. And this inspired me to go through all the safety of the store. This is a shop in the US that unfortunately, very sad, burnt to the ground. Gateway Aquatics, look at that. Not even a week later, here is another one. FJW Aquarium loses $300,000 of livestock in store fire. How does that happen? Um, faulty equipment, one also leaks. If water leaks and gets on the floor and touches your electrical, that can very easily and quickly start a fire. So these little devices from Neptune, they go anywhere you might think there will be a leak, anywhere you have plumbing water that might exit the tank, you put one of these and it will send you a notification and maybe help prevent a catastrophic loss and let you know. So even send you a text right to your phone to say, hey, something's up. If you've been following the channel, you saw that I was going through the electrical and I had just, 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 just mounted all of our power bars up like this. Okay, it's not super pretty, and they're all velcroed and attached with brackets over here. But you know what happened? Not even a week after I did that, our skimmer went buck wild and started overflowing right here. And if those were sitting there, not good. These would have all gotten wet. I'm not saying it's gonna cause a fire, but we would have lost the power and electrical for all of these units. Very expensive and costly and dangerous. And not even, not even a week later, same thing here. I mount all these. I swear, the universe is on my side. God is on my side, look at this. I get these off the floor because they were all just sitting there. I mount my power bars this way, everything off the floor, and bam, look at this. Why is this tank empty? Again, another leak we had back to back. I think it's in this corner, it was dripping down. You can see here all the salt crud that was coming. And luckily, our power bars were not on the floor. Very lucky ducky. Same thing under here. Not super, super pretty, but everything's mounted. Here's a better example over here, as you can see. Simple, double-sided tape, all mounted. Nothing on the floor. How's it go? Pound of prevention is worth uh, something something? Pound of... That's it. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. That is where this apex comes into play. This is our ounce of prevention. Thank you to everyone for the GoFundMe that helped. It's still ongoing. March got his car stolen. You can help replace it. But look at this. This is my ounce of prevention at home. This ounce of prevention too. Come steal my car. At least I'm going to see you this time. Here's number three. March is watching at all times. <laughs> Door sensors. I've gotten so much into home automation, it's nuts. Alarms, new locks. A good sidetrack. Not every day you get to go to March's house. Okay, automation. This is more of like a sensor. If you go with the Junior, you get an optical sensor, the leak detector, which will pick up water on the floor, a pH probe, and a temperature probe. So it's going to watch all of that all the time and send you notifications to your phone if anything goes out of whack. What is this optical sensor? Let me show you. One set up here on the reefer. So I like redundancy and I'll show you how we're using it. Right here is that optical sensor. So if for some reason, you know, you can think of a million reasons why, but if, if the sump level begins to rise in here, it's going to trip that and then it's gonna send me a notification and because I have the full apex, I can tell it to do something. So it basically says, if this wet, then do that. So common cause of that would be like a power outage where your return pump stops and then your sump level is gonna rise. Let's say um, water is escaping the system in the case like our skimmer that went crazy but the water was dumping this way. That's where these come into play. This is a leak detector. And so that's gonna do the exact same thing. If it gets wet, it's gonna notify me. This right here is a brand new one that was defective right out of the box. I show you guys on the channel, the good, the bad, show you it all. Now, we're gonna put it where it belongs because it doesn't work. Why am I showing you this? Because I just got on the phone with Apex. They have a 1-800 number. If you need help, they're sending me a brand new one. We spent five minutes on the phone. He was able to diagnose that the leak detector was faulty. Even though it was brand new, it just happened to be, you know, I got lucky. I'm getting a new one in the mail. So I really like that about these guys. You don't have to wait. You can open a support ticket, but you don't have to wait um, for an email. If, if during normal business hours, you can pick up the phone and these guys are wizards. They know their product line. 
in and out. Today I'm just talking about leak detectors because that's what I happen to be setting up. And when I do a video, I kind of just see what am I doing in the shop today? Is this worth talking about? Let me pick up the camera, okay, and then we'll pump one out. But there's so much more. Once you get that, if you go with the Junior or you go with the full version or that, there's so many other toys. They have lights, they have automatic testing of calcium, alk, and mag. Return pumps, refugium grow lights, reservoirs for dosing, actual dosing heads. This is an auto top off. This holds your probes in place. They have energy bars. So kind of like to like smart plugs to control everything on your tank. This ties it into other brands like Ecotech and Aqua Illumination. They have standalone and other pumps. They have flow sensors so that you can see how much water is moving through a pump. If you're geeky or nerdy or like home automation or anything like that, if you're into like uh, Apple home kit and you have an aquarium, this is so for you. I'm not even getting into the fine little details. There's so much that you can do with this stuff. I think the leak detector is probably one of the most valuable tools and it's well worth the money. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a second one right here and it's super simple. I'm just plugging them right into the module and then they're going to show up on the dashboard here on my phone. You name them what you want. So this is our 250 reefer. So I call it 250 FLD, which to me means flood. And right now it's in the open position, which means it's dry. Ray, wet your hands a little bit and I'm gonna get you to wet this sensor right under here. Everyone say hi to Ray. Ray is our sensor model for the day. Yeah, just wet that portion there, just with your hands with the wet fingers. And we'll watch it respond here on the phone. And there, it will show now closed, which basically means wet. So from that, I can get a email notification. If you're in the US, you can get a text message to your phone. And if you have the energy bar, you can tell the Apex to do certain things. So you say, you know, if this is closed, if this happens, then do what? You get to decide. Turn off this pump, um, notify this person, and get over there quickly because something is wrong. So they have a couple different options. The one I'm showing today is Junior. It's the least expensive one. The main difference between this and the big boy here, one is going to be the price, and two, this comes with that energy bar I was talking about. So this is more, you know, if you get the Junior, it's more of a, I would say, a monitor or a sensor. And if you go with this one, this one is more of a controller. So based on whatever your sensors are doing, then you can tell it, turn off, lights, pump, skimmer, you decide everything in here. They have presets, they're really easy. You don't need to know how to code. It's really just drag and drop. If you end up going with the Junior, maybe you wanna test it out. I don't feel like spending that much money just yet. You can go with the Junior and you can always add extra stuff later. There isn't a huge cost savings by going with that one. So you can add the energy bar and you can make your Junior a full blown Apex controller and once you get that you're open to all the other toys and it's just basically like getting your hub to get started. This is a new one that's really cool too, the liquid level sensor, great for alarms or, or ATO reservoirs. It basically just gives you a readout of any sort of container. You stick it, I, I call it the water ruler even though that's not what it is, even though that is what it is. You stick it in the reservoir and then it'll just give you a reading. So let's say it's an ATO reservoir and the water's dropping, you can say okay once you pass seven inches then turn on said pump. Or if you're too high, let's say it's in your sump, you know, then you know something's wrong. You can watch the level of water anywhere that you deem is uh, important. That's it for today's video on the Apex. There's so many other videos I could do. If you have any questions about it, you can always email us. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, that's fragboxcorals at gmail.com. Anything related to reef keeping, really, we're always here to help you guys on your reefing journey. And that's it. The next video, I think I'm going to do one on this. This is our flat six gallon reef casa tank. The Pico, it needs a little cleaning, but the corals are looking fantastic. So stay tuned for that one. And we'll see you guys back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV.